Alrighty boys, it do be time to talk about bowls, okay? And there are a lot of types of bowls. There are porcelain bowls, there are glass bowls, there are bowls in the shapes of balls, there are boulders, but today, we are going to be talking about the best type of bowls of all, okay? Plastic bowls. Dude, if you drop a glass bowl or like a porcelain bowl, they just shatter, okay? But then if you drop a plastic bowl, everything's chill, you don't have to worry about your mom screaming at you to clean up the mess you made. And no, I totally don't, like, drop bowls on a regular basis, okay? We don't, we don't do that, okay? Okay, okay, fine, fine. We are talking about science bowl and quiz bowl because those are the true best bowls, okay? Hello everybody, I'm Kara, and today we are talking about science bowl and quiz bowl, which I will admit are pretty cool, although not cooler than plastic bowl, okay? But they are pretty cool, so that's what we're going to be talking about. So first off, what the heck are they? Basically, both of them are just buzzer-based competitions with your team, right? And they basically test you on a bunch of stuff. Science bowl is just, like, focusing on science, obviously, and then quiz bowl is testing you on, like, science, literature, history, all that good stuff. And now you might be saying, what the heck, how can you learn, like, all of science, or, like, all of, like, history, literature, and science? That's crazy. But luckily, teams are four to six people, so you don't have to worry about knowing everything. You could probably share, split up some of the studying between your teammates. Dude, it's so weird. People say they're like, oh, I'm a specialist in biology for science bowl. How do you specialize in biology? That's, like, crazy. That's, like, the whole field of science. And then quiz bowl is even worse, right? You're literally specializing in science. That's literally the whole... What? <laughs> But well, yeah, you basically get the idea. The moderator asks you a question, what is the powerhouse of the cell? And then you buzz and you answer lysosome because you are not paying attention in bio. Well, who does? I mean, I can't blame you, okay? Bio is heckin' bore. And then I proceed to go read Campo 69 times, but we don't talk about that. Alright, so now that we are done talking about what is, let us talk about my experiences with it, okay? So basically, I joined Science Bowl in 8th grade because my friends were doing it, and they were like, Hey, let's just join the team, man. Basically, we all suck. <laughs> yeah, because it was not really an official school thing, it was basically just a bunch of my group of friends wanted to do it, so we just did it. And it was fun, except for the fact that we got swept 5-0 during the round robin tournament on the day of, but it is okay, okay? It is okay. I totally do not have a low self-esteem because of it today. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, what? What? You got a problem with that? But yeah, basically, I enjoyed buzzing a ton, and of course, the science, dude, I love science, okay? I do all the sciences, so why, like, it's perfect. It's like, you match buzzing with science, epicest thing in the universe. So basically, I've done science bowl since 8th grade, and then in 11th grade, I basically, that was my year that I focused the most on it, because we had this really good senior, and <laughs> he was leaving next year, and I was like, hey, let's try really, really hard this year, and hopefully we can win it. But we didn't. We got second place. God dang it. God dang it. Why? Why? <laughs> no. It was so sad. God dang it. I started quiz bowl a bit later. I started only in 10th grade and basically like quiz bowl is 100% different from science bowl, right? Like science bowl is pure speed, right? Like the questions are really short and you gotta answer it as fast as you can. You have to do a lot of word prediction and stuff and all that good stuff. But quiz bowl has a lot longer questions, right? And they basically do harder clues to easier clues. Qu uh, science bowl is just asking one single question. Quiz bowl is giving you clues and they slowly get easier. So quiz bowl is a lot more knowledge than like application, right? Like science bowl, they make you do computations, all that stuff. But like quiz bowl is more if you're interested in like knowing a ton of different things. Like it's more trivia, like honestly. Like it's way more knowledge based and actually like application based. So as you might expect, the first time I tried quiz bowl, I got absolutely demolished. But it is okay because there are no tryouts on the quiz bowl team. The reason why science bowl has tryouts generally is because there's only a one competition, right? Like, well, there's only one division, there's no varsity or junior varsity or anything. But in quiz bowl, there's like three divisions, there's a ton of tournaments throughout the year. You don't need to have trials because like all your teams can participate. So when I joined quiz bowl, like obviously I was not that interested in all the other like literature and stuff and everything. So I just focused on science, but that works fine. Like if you're only interested in science and you want to do quiz bowl, it's totally fine. Just make sure you're like the rest of your team is also like equally good at the other stuff as you are at science. So you don't feel like, oh, now I got to learn all this other stuff. Like, literally, my team, everybody else was, like, way better than me at everything else, and they literally covered everything. They were all, like, super good all around. They knew history, they knew literature, whatever. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, because the only thing they didn't know was science, so that's, like, the only reason I was on the team. And literally, it's so bad, dude. Literally, they're all seniors last year, right? And I go to, like, I joined the A team last year, but Quiz Bowl Nats got canceled last year, so now, this year, I, like, all the really good people left, and now, ah, god dang it. But yeah, basically, what I got out of the academic bowls is, like, I, I basically study mostly for Olympiads, right? But then all the knowledge I have from Olympiads transfers over to Science Bowl, and then it's really fun. And so it's like a fun way of applying your knowledge that you get from other things. Now this video, I don't want to talk too much about getting like better at Science Bowl and Quiz Bowl because I talked about that in my other video. So if you want to learn like my tips and stuff, I would check out that other video. But like right now, basically the way I got better is I just read textbooks, right? I read like Campo, I read like Tortora, I read Ravens, I read... Um, 
Tarbuck, I read some solid state physics or something, I forgot what it was. I read an astrophysics textbook, I read a bunch of random things. Oh yeah, I read Zoom Doll too. I should read Atkins at some point, maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, I also read the organic chemistry text with Klein. Dude, organic chemistry is disgusting, okay? If you do quiz bowl, that's the one thing that sucks about quiz bowl, so you gotta know so much random organic chem when you get to like, harder difficulty sets. And just one more thing about my experiences, like, I don't think the buzzing was the only fun part. The another like reason why I like quiz bowl and science bowl is because my friends did it, right? Like, if my friends didn't do it, I just wouldn't do it at all. So, I don't know. It feels like kind of a mix of a social thing and just like, a science thing. It's more, honestly speaking, it's more of a social thing and just a fun thing than like, a thing like, like, it's not like Olympia kind of thing. Okay, so now just in terms of my advice, should you do it or should you not? Honestly speaking, you should only do it if it's fun for you, right? Like, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, like, science bowl is not gonna get you that many, like, unique skills. Like, buzzing quickly is not like an interesting skill, it's not that impressive. Like, having the knowledge is super, super impressive, right? But like, you could get that same knowledge by studying for like, Yusubo, or, or like, studying for any of the Olympia. So if you're doing science bowl just because, oh, I can put this on my college app resume, no, don't do it. It's like, literally not even worth it. It's, the whole reason you want to do science bowl is because it's fun, not because you want to put it on your resume. And as I said before, reading textbook is good, using Anki flashcards are really good. And I'll, I'll give I'll give science bowl and quiz bowl this, right? It basically teaches you how to retain a lot of information quickly. So I guess that's a good thing, right? Like if you're doing med school in the future, you have to like remember a ton of nonsense. So yeah, it will obviously help a ton in like a ton of ways, right? But if you don't find it fun, you're not gonna keep up with it and it's not gonna benefit you at all. So only do it if you're, it's fun. Try to get your friends to do it too, cause it's way more fun if you have friends there. Of course, of course, there's some of those people who treat quiz bowl as a way of life. I have no problem with that. It's just not my kind of thing, right? Like I don't think that I wanna like go to college and keep playing quiz bowl. This is mostly just a thing that I do for fun. So like, I probably don't care, but like the people who are really, really good at this stuff are super impressive to watch. So I don't know, it's a cool thing. And then like the last thing that I probably could mention about this is like, like leadership, honestly being the leadership is pretty mild. All you gotta do is like host practices, you gotta just organize tournaments and stuff. That's not a big deal. Like the main thing is being able to participate, being able to compete. That's the cool part. So yeah, that's my take on academic goals. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully you know whether or not it's good for you or not. But I think if you're interested in Olympiads and you're anyways learning the stuff somewhere else, right? You might as well just apply it in a really fun way. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. But other than that, thank you guys for watching again. See you guys next time.